Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a kind of shop my stash, get ready with me. I have here some Radiant products. I'm going to try some Patrick Ta products. Just a mishmash video. So if you're interested, grab your makeup and let's get ready together. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy makeup and let's get started. So I spoke about this brand Radiant. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, a little bit in my last video, I used their eyeshadows uh, and it was wonderful. And so they sent me their tint. This is their serum. They also have a concealer. I don't have that, but they have some blush products that I do have. Oh, it's right here. And it's like this, it's a weird packaging, I guess, for a blush, but it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I was going to try that. Also, I'll grab some products for my collection. I, I was planning to record a proper shop my stash and show you guys through my makeup collection, but I'm trying to record while the baby's sleeping and I don't think I have enough time. <laughs> so we're just going to do this style. So this is their serum. This is hydrating serum. Um, it's an amazing boost in hydration suitable for all skin types. Formulated with our algae blend of seaweeds for an instantly noticeable improvement in wrinkles and fine lines. You apply two to three drops on a face and neck. Please follow with a cream or moisturizer to lock in moisture. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's glass bottle and I think the packaging just overall it looks really nice. I have used it a couple times and it's kind of like a thicker texture. I almost dropped it. <laughs> so let's put it on. It has a pipette and you know, this is a glass like applicator or pipette. I don't know the proper name of this. So I'm going to grab a little bit, put here, I don't know, two blobs. This is kind of a thicker gelish like almost um, serum. I don't know if you're supposed to put this under makeup or like um, as a night serum. Let me look that up. But I, I assumed it was good for whenever since it's a hydrating one. I actually already put a moisturizer on. So I'm not sure if I need another moisturizer on top of this. It, it went on nicely. It feels nice. Um, it was kind of sticky, but I feel like it's starting to... Kind of get into my skin um yeah i feel like with products like these i really can't tell a difference unless i constantly use them for longer periods of time but i thought i would just you know share that with you also this is cruelty free organic a fragrance free which i enjoy so it says to put a moisturizer on top of this to kind of lock in the moisture um i'll put a little bit of my Embryolise cream. I don't want something super thick, but they said to do that, so I'll do that. Okay, moving on to their serum skin tint. And this is a skincare infused lightweight formula to nourish and hydrate skin with a natural and healthy looking finish, providing light, buildable coverage to blur and even out imperfections. Uh, shake well before use, blend with a dense makeup brush or beauty sponge, repeat application until desired coverage. So I've used this one once um, and I really liked it. Uh, I used it with my fingers. I'll try it with a brush, but I feel like this kind of product, I'm probably going to enjoy it with my fingers more. So I'm going to shake it and this is the packaging. This is glass and just an applicator quite nice and simple um that is the color and the color is r2 which i thought it would be a little dark for me right there but it blends into my skin really really nice so i'm going to take this and put it all over it does have more of a almost thicker texture initially um but I want to see how it goes with the brush. I'm going to take my Merit brush and blend this in. I really loved it with my fingers. Um, I thought it worked so, so well. I would say right now it's a light coverage. Oh, I need to do my eyebrows. They're so bad. 
Maybe tonight shall be the beautifying day or evening. That's one of my favorite days. Just like put a show in the background and I don't know, shave everything, do my brows, do some exfoliating. Um, just take care of my body skin as well. I, will, I always do such a good job with my face, but not so much with my body. And I'm just like, I just need to get better at that. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, but I do love the color. So this, to me, kind of ends up setting more like a um, natural finish. I don't see a ton of glow to it. It's just kind of like my skin, which I really like for like summertime. Um and i really like it 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 just looks like my skin it kind of reminds me slightly of the one from cali ray this one the cali ray that i used so much in the beginning of the summer this is more oily and the texture is quite different but the way it sets on the skin they kind of remind me of each other i would say that this one has more coverage than the cali ray um and the application is it's different this is a little bit thicker and creamier the cali ray is like liquid like you can hear that um but i think on the skin they kind of remind me of each other so this is how the skin looks like and i think it looks amazing so I try to build it up a little bit here and I'm not sure how much more I was able to cover. I would say right now I have light to medium coverage, maybe, maybe medium if I'm generous, but no more than that. I probably would wear it as more of a light coverage. They do have a concealer that I'm tempted to pick up because I really like the foundation so much and I love the color too. R, I thought maybe it had quite a lot of red undertones and it probably does, but somehow it meshes with my skin. Okay, I'm gonna correct my under eyes because I think they look dark. And I'm gonna take my NARS. This is in the color light and I have not used a corrector since I've had that Huda Beauty um, concealer. Uh, I just use that and that covers so well, but I feel like putting a corrector today and maybe more of a lighter concealer on. And also this brush, this is from BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy and it's this tilted brush and I love the way it applies the concealer. It's big enough, it fits in there, I, it's so good. I think I'm gonna take my Kosas concealer today. Um, such a favorite of mine. And I'm just gonna use this one. This is in 2.5. It's a little light, but I like it. Uh, I also have four right here, just in case. I may add a little bit of that over it. So I don't look too bright. I'm going to take the foundation brush and just blend this over. I'm, I'm curious to see how the foundation works with the concealer because I've only worn the foundation by itself on a no makeup makeup kind of day. So it was like by itself, nothing else except some blush. And I loved it, but I want to see how it meshes with other products. And I didn't put a primer either under the foundation. I don't like to mix too much, mostly when they're newer products. I kind of want to learn and see how they work. Hostess, I need better color from your concealer. I just, I just don't like the yellow undertone, even though I think 2.5, is it cool? Yeah, it's C, cool. And it's still, I feel like it pulls quite yellow. So far, so good. I'm gonna take my Kosas powder. This is in Breezy. And I'm gonna set my under eyes. And I'm not gonna set the foundation, just wherever I put the concealer. This concealer definitely has 
some glow to it. So I do feel the need to powder it mostly now since it's almost 100 degrees outside. You guys know how much I love summer. Since Makeup by Maria has brought this back in stock, let's use this one because I love this so much. And I intentionally tried to not use it on my channel because I knew it was out of stock everywhere. And I didn't wanna, I don't know, rub it in your face. But uh, this is in light medium and it is so, so good. I love the undertone of this one. I kind of used it as a bronzer contour all in one um it's just wonderful and the application is so so easy i'm taking this bk beauty 106 to blend this out this contour stick is just great for even a beginner um it's just easy to blend in look at that um, it's not, it may be intimidating in the beginning, but just overall, it's, it's just a good staple in your collection. And I like the undertone. You'll see by the time I post this, it's not going to be in stock anymore. I'll be so mad. That looks so, so good. You know, I still want to try the powder version, like the powder bronzer. Um, I haven't tried that one. I tried the um, new ones. These right here from Makeup by Mario. This is the Skin Enhancer, uh, one of my favorite products that Makeup by Mario ever came out with. How to add a little bit of this on top, why not? Um, I just think this makes my skin look so healthy and natural and so so beautiful uh, I have mine in light medium and I couldn't love a product more well maybe I could but I tend to you know get really passionate when I like something a lot I'm passionate about it so I just love the way I don't know it brings everything together and then the makeup by mario this honestly i haven't used much i just used maybe three four times total <sighs> it's not bad but it's not my favorite but i do want to try their regular um cream not powder bronzer now that i'm all bronzed up let's go to blush so uh radian has these uh, blushes that come in this stick or what is this, a tube, and it has this applicator. It kind of reminds me of like an eye cream and you just roll it and the product comes out and then you blend it in. I mean, it's quite intimidating, but this blends in very easy and it becomes almost like a satin finish, almost powdery. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how this works with the rest. I've tried this once and that's it. And it was kind of on the go. So I have here uh, the color, let's see, Basquet, Basquet, or Terran. I'm not sure if I'm saying those right, but Terran is this more like earthy color that is very much my vibe. I guess if you point it down, product will come out easier I'm trying to do a thicker swatch because I combine them <laughs> so this is Terran and this is basket I don't know if it's French or it's supposed to be English so I don't know how to read it um but I kind of want to try this one the lighter one I think it looks more appropriate for summer okay let's try that um I'm gonna apply a little bit here or a lot. And I'm gonna take this Angie Hot and Flashy brush 1507. I don't think I've used this yet. Maybe I have. And try to blend this out. Okay. Let's put some here. I think I added way too much. I didn't realize how pigment this was. I think I tried it once, the other color. Um, and it, I don't know, maybe I didn't apply that much i mean look how beautiful that is but this was definitely my fault because i applied so much i'm gonna put it over my crease as well 
it'll blend out it'll be okay but look how pretty that is this is still a little intense but that was just my fault obviously i added too much that is a beautiful blush i may take just a little bit on that and add up here i'm okay with a stronger blush today i love the color absolutely love the color these are 32 dollars each um the foundation is 49 dollars uh, the concealer, which I don't have, which I want, is $35. And then the hydrating serum is $50. Um, and what else did they have? Oh, the eyeshadow that I'll, I'll use today again is $29. So the prices are definitely more on the you know high end, but these feel very luxurious. And it kind of Reminds me the vibe a little bit of Victoria Beckham makeup. It just kind of, maybe the sleek packaging, um, just like it feels nice. Like this, it's like heavy duty packaging. So I'm liking that. So that's the blush. I have no highlighter on right now. I think the blush is stunning. And I love how tiny it is. I like that it's like probably better for people that are intimidating by intimidated by cream liquid blushes. This is an easy application and it blends in so nicely and you guys saw how much I put on initially. And these kind of stay stay on pretty well. I remember last time I wore it, um, it stayed on a long time. Okay, highlighter. Should I even put a highlighter? maybe let's take my Westman atelier podo sante and this is the color i'm gonna take a little bit and just put it right up here almost on top of it to just give some extra glow this won't be a super beaming highlighter but it just gives some life and this is definitely more rosy so um pretty i think it's a, a beautiful also blush topper if you need that but um you can kind of put it wherever but look how pretty that looks it's really pretty i still love podo sante no podo pesh the most that thing is just such a gem so i kind of wanted to try the patrick ta this is the shaping wax but i am hesitant to try it because I already have my makeup on. I probably should have done it before. Um, I don't know, should I, should I try it? Let's try it. So I'm gonna spray, this is the tinted one. And I was very curious about the tinted one because I really didn't love the, um, the regular ones because it would give me like white cast. So I don't like that. So let's put a little bit of this. My brows are so bad i am not gonna add much because if i try to do like the super nice soap brows i kind of look a little crazy because my brows are already big enough but i just wanted to try this uh, i am using this spoolie this is from jane irondale i don't even know if they still have it in stock um I bought it when I worked at a salon that carried this and I have not found a better like spoolie brush like this ever. This is like strong, powerful. I have a couple because I like it so much. That was fine. Like I don't see any white residue, right? Okay, we're gonna fill it in. Okay, I think the brows are done. I'm gonna take my powder though and kind of go over them a little bit. I just don't want them quite as intense. That's better, it's just a little softer. And after that, I may go back with my spoolie just to redefine it. Okay, for the eyes, I really just want very little. So I'm gonna take the this Radiant product. I think this is Rose. 
oh, it's spelled different, Roes. Anyway, uh, I used Brune in my last video and this is just such a nice, kind of one and done, simple product. I'll swatch it, oh, look at that swatch with the brush. Ooh, that, I'm, I'm so impressed, okay. I haven't used this color yet, but I have used the other color. I am, guys, I'm literally dripping sweat. I don't know why, it's not even that hot in here. Anyway, uh, so let's apply this. Can you guys see? So these are so easy to use. You just put a little bit, grab just a fluffy brush and blend this out and you're done. Look at that, that's such a pretty color. Wow, I want the other ones. Yes, this is wonderful and I wore this a whole day and it did crease a little bit but not bad for what these are like I like these better than the Charlotte Tilbury ones I think they're more pigmented I'm getting more from this than the Charlotte Tilbury one um, and they're creamier and blending easier um, it also has just a sheen to it it does not have glitter. Like there's no glitter. It's almost just like a beautiful sheen and gorgeous. So, so nice. I'm gonna take a little bit on a smaller brush and go under. Okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it takes forever. Uh, I'm also gonna take this Tarte Fake Awake, uh, line my bottom waterline and then take my Victoria Beckham in black and tight line on the upper, um, what is this, upper line, I guess. Uh, and then I'll be back to do the lips. Mascara's on, I used this Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. It's kind of drying out, so, you know, I'll use it a couple more times and then throw it away. Um, okay, I have here my little makeup bag, Lisa Eldridge makeup bag, and I, I don't know what lip product I want today. I could just do a Dior gloss. Did you hear that thunder? Maybe it's gonna rain. Oh, I'd be so excited. Uh, oh, yes. Why don't we do a good old Chanel? This is the color Boy. Let's do that. I also have uh, the Rare Beauty lip liner in Wise. This is a darker one and swatch it right here I think I'm gonna do that that is a really nice color really nice lip liner and with this color boy I feel like I need a liner because it's this cool tone look at that it looks gray but it's pretty it's like cold following back in the day so Will it work? I think so. Um, I'm not sure about this. I feel like it's clashing with the eyes. The undertones are different. I'm gonna swap it. I think I'm gonna go back to my Refi uh, lip sculptor. This is in taupe. And I feel like if I don't know what to put on, this is it. This goes with everything. So I'm gonna do this one. Also, this lip liner stays on like all day long. It is one of the most long lasting lip liners I've ever experienced. And then I am gonna take this, which is like that topper, but it's still kind of matte. It's almost like silicone feel and tap that on. So this is the finished look and I like it. I feel feminine. I feel like I'm put together, but not too much. Um, I love my eyeshadow. These radiant like eyeshadow products are a huge surprise. A surprise. Uh, they go on so easily. If you're somebody that likes soft, one and done, but still have color to it, these are incredible. I want to check out their other colors because um, I wore the other one all day long and it has creased a little bit, but like 
all my other cream shadows will crease like that and I haven't primed my eyelids before so wonderful product the foundation I really like the way it looks right now I feel very comfortable I feel like it's kind of like my skin just more I don't know put together it doesn't feel um glowy much I would say that it sets kind of like not normal uh, natural finish um, and yeah I like it I, I will link down below or like write in my description box how it wore because I will wear it um, today and let you know you know how it lasted throughout the day the blush from them I was obviously it was a lot of pigment initially but I think it looks elegant it just looks elegant um so really enjoying that oh i forgot to mention last time i actually took this and added it on my lips should we do that real quick okay my kids are screaming so if you hear that it's just my kids so i did this because this almost dries down a little powdery not drying but that that works as a lip product when I wore this blush before um I had very little makeup on and I was like oh why don't I try to as a lip product and it looked really pretty more of that matte finish but yeah um and then their serum I can't speak on because I haven't worn it for a long time it feels nice but I need time to test that out to tell you to let you know if I see any results and improvement in my skin or anything like that but I really enjoyed all the products uh, that they sent me and I think you should check them out also um what else now I feel like my lips don't match my eyes I'm gonna add a little bit of this gloss guys I have like four different lip products on right now um okay oh one thing I wanted to mention is that my Kosas concealer right now under eyes doesn't look as good as usually. So I don't know if the foundation isn't working super well with the concealer or because it's so hot, I need something more smoothing. Um, I, I'm missing my Huda concealer right now. I think it looks a little, a little too glowy maybe and a little more textury. And I feel like I have some darkness peeking through. So I don't know if it's because I'm so hot and sweating in here. But I wanted to mention that. I will let you know, you know, how's, what's happening. But that uh, concealer used to be my number one. And right now, I'm not loving my under eyes right now. So I thought I would mention that. And that is all for today because my kids are screaming outside. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.